Today's lesson is Conduit Basics. All right, before we start, I like to go to uh, Manage Property, uh, sorry, Project Units, change my angle, make sure you have it set to decimal angles, and my slope to decimal angles. Okay, and then MEP settings. Uh, I like to change, uh, set my angle to 30 degrees, and I'll explain that to you in, in just a minute here. And if you want to know what size conduits are set up in your project, uh, your trade size, your uh, interior diameter, exterior di diameter, and your minimum bending radius. Okay, that's the good things to know. Okay, um, conduit. All right, so before we get into drawing conduit, my company, we actually like to make conduit types using the conduit without fittings. And the reason we do that is so you can create a, a run schedule. Okay, so here we're going to pick a 208. And if you're drawing conduit, uh, for example, uh, let's just go to none here. And let's say I'm drawing conduit. I try to draw an angle here. As you can see here, it's not, uh, you know, it's not allowing you to do that. That means that your project hasn't been set up yet. Uh, so what you need to do is make sure you have elbows put in there and then the type that you're looking for, okay? So go ahead and delete that. All right, uh, to do conduits, uh, go to the Systems tab, Conduits, and you can start. Uh, shortcut keys is uh, C, uh, N, and what we're gonna do here at this, uh, this junction box, it's bottom is at 11 foot four, and these hangers are 11 foot uh, 10. So we're gonna draw a conduit at the center here. We're gonna use two inch conduit and we're gonna make it at 12 feet, or you can use the bottom. Uh, so we'll get that in a second. Okay. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. All right. So conduits, and we're gonna say two inches here. Go to justification, and what we're gonna do is make sure it's at the bottom here, and we're gonna set it at 12 feet, at two inches, and uh, so we're gonna start here at the edge of the junction box. Uh, come over to the panel board, try to catch the end of that panel, uh, I'm a little too far to the right. All right, so I select over the panel. Uh, I know the equipment is at six foot six at the top of the panel. Hit apply twice when you go down uh, from a horizontal or up. Uh, and we'll just shift that over a little bit. And what we're going to do is go the other direction. Let's say we want to start at the panel board. Uh, so we start at six foot six, top of the panel. It's a little different here. So now I'm going to pick. Oh, Sorry, before I do that, six foot six, hit apply, then change it to 12. Revit, you know, takes you out of the run as you're drawing it, modeling. So you just have to reselect the top of the pipe. And as you can see here, you can finish off. All right. Now, let's say I was going to start from this junction box, which is the same height and everything. So one thing I like to do is I just, you know, select the pipes that are, that are similar. In this case, I'm going to say uh, create similar. And now I'll start from... This junction box, and I inherited everything the elevation, the pipe size, the type, everything. And get to the top of the panel. Uh, I'll say six foot six, hit apply twice. I'll nudge it over a little bit. And now that I've got that, I need three conduits. Instead of drawing three, I can go here to parallel conduits. Make sure I'm on the same uh, bend radius. You don't do concentric. Okay, I've got set to three conduits basically, uh, four inches apart. I'll hover over a part uh, one run and I'll use the tap key and get the whole thing and voila as you can see here got conduit coming in all right another trick I learned this from uh, watching a video on Brian Mackey I think that's how you say his name uh, let's say we have a building that has a 30 degree uh, angle to it and uh, so let's what we need to do is we're gonna say show plane and in this case here I uh, already you know normally it's comes in at five degrees or five uh, foot spacing I changed it to 100 um, and now what we want to do is we want to rotate this okay 30 degrees okay so now when I'm drawing conduit very similar as you can see here if I hold down the shift key it's gonna snap at 30 degrees that's pretty cool Okay, and if, let's say I'm going to create that particular, or recreate that, yeah, as you can see here, it's set to 30 degrees. Everything you do, we set to 30 degrees. Now, let's say you want to jump back, all you do is turn it off. And now, when I create similar, everything will be back to, you know, your normal uh, 90 degrees. All right, that's it for today's lesson. Uh, until the next one, thanks, bye.